Durville Island is located in the Outer Marlborough Sounds. It's uh, the northernmost island in the South Island and it is such a good fishing ground due to the high currents and the big fish that call it home. It's a big effort to get to where we are today on Durville Island. After a two and a half hour drive from Nelson, we put the boat in the water at a place called French Pass. It can be an extremely dangerous piece of water. The powerful currents and whirlpools can spin the boat around, but this is also home to Kingford. Trying to do um, Just trying to find where the ledge is, because when we came in here first, we, um, we marked a lot of fish, but we were skating over them pretty quick, couldn't get a jig down, so we're just gonna go back to that drop off and uh, try find them again. And, them up. From there, we made our way over to the island where we are today. It's a hard place to get to, but luckily enough, we've been able to stay on the island with some people that live here. It's a really beautiful place to be. Wild weckers are roaming around the house, and the vast landscape is covered in native bush. The beauty of staying here on the island means that we're only about a half an hour's drive away from the fishing grounds. Key fishing grounds can be found all around the island. The main areas are French Pass, Stevens Passage and Nile Head. Come on! Oh, you're on it, you're on it, you're on it. Did you see that? No, I was watching your rod. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Start the boat. Oh my god, they're horses! They are horses. Come on, holy Start the boat! Uh, the main ways we're targeting kingfish here at Derville is jigging holy. in top water, but by far the most Take exciting break. technique would have to be top water. The visual eats and the explosive bites from the kingfish are second to none. It's full on, you've got to go lock and load and get them off the reef. When we're locating these kingies, we're using our SIMRAD sonar and our CMAP chart card. When we're marking kingfish within the top 20 metres of the water column, we know there's an opportunity to get a bite on a stick bait. Wow. Look at these guys. The SIMRAD has helped us locate these two big kingies that are sitting right on the edge of the shelf. As soon as I'm hooking up on these monster kingfish, I'm locking up my drag and just holding on tight. That initial first run is extremely powerful. We're manoeuvring the boat to try and plane this fish off the reef and get into some deeper water. Wow, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I would have put in well over 200 or so casts just for that one fish today, but it was well worth it because that is my new PB.